So the new combat's called CL. Bit weird. Is, is that actually his name? CL. C dot L. I don't know. I've never heard of this guy before, so very weird. Um, but it is heal the allies around your target for forty two percent of your bot's heal value. Every ten seconds, you and your targets reflect twenty percent of the damage for six seconds. So let's take a look at him in battle, and we'll see what we're looking at. So we'll drop the three uh, bots there. Drop Minerva behind. See there, Minerva's healing. AOE, you can see there that that bot there is reflecting anything that comes in. That's part of the ability that's reflecting a bit like a uh, hotspot. One problem, as you can see from the start, I mean, in the early days, I will give them a chance and not be too critical and kick off too much because it is early days. But I think the, the problem with this is that it's the same problem as when you have a core that has um, that tracks defenses that usually the defenses will hit whatever is closest to them. So when you're healing a bot that is not on the front line, like we saw then, and it reflects damage, if you're healing that bot in that point and it's not taking damage, then the reflect isn't doing much. So personally, if it is reflecting, I would like it to reflect any bot that's healing. So even the AOE part, not just the one it's targeting. So for me, if it had three reflex, uh, on on and bots there, then I think that'd be pretty decent. Is it OP? Maybe need to tune down a bit. I don't know. But the thing that sort of crossed, that sort of came for me the most, was that obviously when we're giving the bot, these placeholders are a bit different. This is obviously not what it looked like. Well, I presume not. But it's just like wrong. We've got it in early to get it. Fine. No problem with that. But then sort of thought, oh, oh well, who's the best healing combat in the game? Rung. I'll compare him to Rung. So then we've got, and literally, as you can see there, while you're switching between the two, it's pretty much the same. So you've got heal the allies around your target for 42% of your bot's heal value. That's exactly the same. That's not changed at all. And then every 10 seconds, you'll shield your target from 32% of damage for 4 seconds. Whereas CL, uh, every 10 seconds, you and your targets reflect 20% of damage for 6 seconds. So I suppose it's more survivability on the combat itself or on the on the bot that the combat's equipped because they get the reflex as well. But for me, it's just the same. It's not very different. You know, am I going to put up 50k for a new combat to replace Rung and put all that combat spark into him for, you know, what? To change the shield, which is negated by FFD, from 32 for 4 seconds to... 20% for 6 seconds, and when you talk about Reflect, it's not that that prominent in the game, because it's not very good. When you when you think of Tantrum and Hotspot, um, they're not considered good bots at all, and they reflect 80% with the G1. 80%. So a bot that reflects 80% is considered pretty crap. And they give this one 20% Reflect. Now, 20% Reflect is better than nothing. Granted, I'm not wowed by it. For me, if you didn't have Rung and you had a chance to pull this guy and you had a choice of batches, then this new batch is pretty good. So if I uh, if I didn't have Rung and I had a choice, I would choose CL probably. He is slightly better than Rung. But right now, as it is, if I've got Rung, I don't think I'm going to bother for CL. You know, I just don't think it's that much of an increase. It's a slight increase. But this is where we talk about, again, about the ceiling being pushed. And I think they're at a ceiling of the game now where they refuse to go past, for whatever reason it is. Um, it just means that new content is not pushing boundaries. And it always should for me. I always think new content should push the boundaries. And every year, it should go further and further. Now, whether that means a new HQ increase every year, I don't know. Uh, that's for them to sort of decide whether it means something else. I don't know. But all, all I know is that the content right now is not really progressing fast enough. And I'm not sat here ranting because there's still another two weeks. I can't see much changing. But I can I can see what they've done with it. 
but there's no innovation. It's more for me a bit of disappointment in the, the thought process behind it. It's like they've gone, okay, who's the best healing combat in the game? Wrong. Let's bring something out a bit better. I don't think a bit better is enough. You know, in, in anything else in the game, it's the same. We'll be sat there going like, you know, we talked about Slug the week and how much he's only slightly better or the same as Pipes. And you're like, well, do I really need to go for him? We talked about when Ironhide came out being similar to Pipes or not quite as good as Pipes even. You're like, well, do I really need to go for him? Yeah, you could run too. You know, you could run run and CL both as five stars on two healers maybe. If you're on two healers. Thank you. I mean, oh, it's not a disaster if you do. It's not a bad choice if you do. But putting all that spark into it to make it a level 10 for that, I don't think it's a bit too much too far. But we have got three, we've got, well, two weeks left. Um, so, am I confident changes will be made? No. Do I think they're close to a good product? Yeah. You know, I, I personally think they're about 70% there close to a good product. There's 70% there. If they just push the boundaries, that 30%, I'd probably be sat there going, this is pretty good. 